Yes. What's up, my YouTube family? YouTube gang gang. What's up? Welcome once again to my kitchen. This is a channel where all happens. So today, I'm a I'm an all round woman, an all round lady. So today, what I'm going to show you guys from process number one of slaughtering a local chicken and preparing it. So number one thing I have here, I'm boiling my water. I've already boiled some two kettles. This is my pad one. Then preparing my sharp knife to go to the slaughter. Slaughter what? Slaughter slaughterhouse. So come with me guys. I hope you enjoy the process and learn something from this. If you haven't subscribed, kindly consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you're my returning subscriber, thank you and mad love. Continue keeping up with me, gang gang. Watch till the end. So this is our chicken. That is our chicken. Chicken kuru -ku -ku -ku. I'm ready. Let me get my knife and my hot water. So we'll just take hot water. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Hot water. Hot water, hot water, hot water. Pour it there. the balcony yes then come and show you come here I hope my name is name is and is what enough oh my god when you ever left this tap on water pouring that's how they the water gets mm. over yeah, so this is the first process how we do it, how we do it, then you hold here. The first process for people who don't know. Then you remove this. Yeah, kill, kill. Um. Ouch. <laughs> no, mm. you give me the dustbin first, Tisco. I dip inside hot water. I take my chicken, dip it inside my hot water. As I remove this, I soak it well, make sure. But I'm going to throw the legs so. So the water is good. This process is removing the feathers. The water, remember the water is very hot. Let's go bring for me one. A knife. A knife. Mm. Okay. This one I that way. The process continues and voila, our chicken is here, it's ready so I'm, uh, I'm just going to, this is a, what should I call it, it's just an, uh, the, uh, the wire for the grill, so for the oven and I'm going to use it, uh, I'm going to put my chicken here on a direct heat so that you remove the excess. Uh, for example, we have excess feathers, so I'm going to do that. But it's usually advisable you do it on a jiko. But this is I don't have a jiko here, so I'm going to do it on a direct heat. I'm trying to put it so that I remove. To 
to go now. Next process now is cutting the chicken. Cutting it, but I'm not going to cook the legs. I'm going to do. My knives are blunt, guys. My knives are really letting me down. They are very blunt. Blunt. So I want to chop on those ones. The legs. Since I said I'm not going to cook them, I'm just going to do away with the legs. Cut them off. My new chopping board from uh, Kamuko Oji. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you say it funny? Kamuko Oji. So I'm going to, I'm not going to cook the legs. I'm just going to remove the legs. Yeah, we are moving, so let's, let me show you what I've just got. I think the food particles, but I'm going to wash them. This is what, so I'm just going to rinse this out. Then I continue. And then part. So this part I'm going to remove. I also don't cook this part. I remove it. So I cut it off. And we move, guys. So there are more particles. So these are I've reached uh, what the intestines. I, I usually don't cook the intestine. So what I cook, what I'm going to remove next is this. It's called what? I know it in vernacular. There are some parts like this. The green thing is usually very bitter. This one. So make sure we're removing. I also don't cook the intestines, so I'm just doing away with them. I'm removing the intestine, but for this one, the give I'm going to cook. This is the bitter that you have to be careful, make sure you don't cut it. If you cut it, it will make a, there'll be a bitter taste. Here, I hope you can see it. So I'm just going to cut it and remove it nicely. So that I don't mess up with it. I'm just gonna cook it. So these are the intestines so I'm not going to cook, I remove them. We are away with them. I'm just going to cook this one. And uh, this one I'll cook. So I hope you know this part. I know it in. Uh, <laughs> and uh, what? For the. They're called the what? Gizzards, yeah? So this one you also have to be careful with it because it has stones. This one I'm going to cook. So process number one, I'm going to cut it like that. And remove the stones. It has a lot, a lot of stones, guys. The gizzard has a lot of stones. So I remove this. I cut it and remove all the stones. Wash. Don't want to rinse my pot because of the small stones. So this is the way it is, the geyser, this is the way it looks like after removing the stones. I'm actually going to cut it in. I'm going to cut it into two so that we have two parts. My knives are really messing here. My knives. So these are the geyser. I'm going to cut it into two so we have two parts. Yeah, then you remove that. We remove this 
Okay, you remove. Please make sure it's clean. Then weather. This is how it looks like. Very clean. And we move. I'm almost. I'm almost. Yeah. We are almost there. Yeah? We are almost. This is the neck. Next process is what I've cut my pieces, you wash them, wash them properly, put it in the pot. This is my cooking pot. My chicken, because it's a local chicken, is usually very hard. So we don't boil with these ones. These ones, we put, these ones are soft. You put them, the last when the chicken is almost, when you add these ones, yeah? It's the cooking. But you can So as you can see it's already simmering. It has already started like uh, boiling boiling. And by the way it's very very hard. This chicken is very hard, so what I'm going to do next, I'm going to, I usually don't, I usually grate my, it's called what, I grate my garlic and I also grate my ginger, then I let them continue boiling inside, so this is how I do And ginger then I'm going to add I'm going to add them here so I've added garlic and ginger to boil I'm also going to add salt I usually like the free flow, free, free flow salt. I'm adding salt, then just rinsing my grater inside here. Then I cover to continue boiling. Yeah, so meanwhile, as my chicken is simmering, I'm here busy cutting my ingredients. What I'm going to use, I'm ha I have um, coriander, I have green pepper, and three large tomatoes, which I'm going, I usually blend this. So today, what I'm, as it's simmering, I've decided I'm going to cook my local veggies. And I'm going to use ghee with my, for my local veggies and uh, cooking cream. I'll add some daima whole meat. So this is the usually cook in that. I'm just going to divide half of this as we wait for our chicken. I'll uh, be frying my vegetable here. So start frying the onions. My local veggies, I'm going to fry half of that. I really love cooking guys so if you've not subscribed to my channel kindly consider subscribing to this channel if you are my returning subscriber my gang gang youtube gang gang thanks and uh, kindly continue supporting me this is how we do it so i'm fried it's, uh, our local chicken it's a uh, stew i'm going to make it stew then we do it with the local local vegetables then um, we do what it's a mixture it's a mixture of so many things saga susa i don't even know how to <laughs> uh it's a uh, um kanzira which will make him changa niko malum when it comes to these pages yeah you just look i hope deck i hope you people know what i'm talking about when i say uh, local pages yeah very yummy yeah, so after my onions are ready on this no. other side, for the love of ghee, I'm telling you this, I highly recommend ghee. I also love uh, local veggies, they really taste nice. 
so I put my gear. Gear and this bio magic. 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 And then I put my veggies now. Oh, I won't see you. I'll add veggies over here. using for the veggies I strictly use all the onion I don't put tomatoes on the local veggies then milk to so milk because I'll be using diet so I'll just add a little milk not a full packet so I'll allow it to cook then this is what I'll add lastly so this is our chicken boiling boiling still boiling then uh, my local veggies I'm just waiting to for these um, the milk then uh, it's when I'm going to add bio meanwhile I'm doing what I need to grate uh, I need to to blend my tomatoes for my for the chicken stew I've already cut my onions they're here this is the last thing I'll put and uh, the green pepper these ones are still there I'm going to add them later on not now so it's very by the way it's very very it's hard it's hard it's hard our local veggies they are ready so i'm just going to add our last process it's adding my bio cream so i put the cream as i stir yes so this is it very yummy so i'm still waiting for the chicken still here Still simmering. Then uh, next, I'm going to prepare for my hubby scald. I'm going to boil wild rice. I soaked it. This is the way it looks like. I soaked it. I'm going to use coconut oil. Little coconut. This is our coconut oil and some butter. It doesn't take garlic. So let's go. So that's our wild rice over there. Then I'm just going to add some salt. The salt. I'm going to add um, coconut oil. Let me just finish. It's over. Then I'll stir. I'll cover then lastly I'll add butter the chicken is hot so as I wait I've decided to quench my trust and eat some ice cream guys Yes, yeah, so at this point,
my blended tomato paste in there. This is Royco I'm going to mix with water. So, we'll pour that. I've not added any oil. I think this is okay. So I'm just going to put my to pour my gravy. Tomato gravy. But I have not used any oil so far because it's so the chicken was so oily. So there's no need of adding. So I'm going to rinse my tin here. This is my roko. background Nigeria no Then we come back and add coriander and serve so our chicken is ready guys so the last thing i'm adding my coriander and ready to serve ready to be served Turn up the lights, turn up the lights, turn up the lights, turn up if you guys hurt yourself, no crying, guys. Okay. Yeah, weather. This is how it looks like. Welcome.